What's up guys, welcome back to Warrior House DIY. I'm JR and in this very special video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up your Starlink satellite internet. This got us through the aftermath of Hurricane Ian when we lived in Cape Coral, Florida and post Hurricane Helene is helping so many in the South Carolina, North Carolina region that we currently live in now. My kids and I set this up at our previous rental house. So I've got a step-by-step -step tutorial for you to make it really easy to get yours set up quickly. Let's jump into the box. As always, if you find value in these videos, give us a like, give us a subscribe, and let's check it out. Warrior House DIY, empowering you with the skills for life. Make sure to like this video, check out our helpful links in the description below, and don't forget to subscribe. Got to give it to Elon Musk. They couldn't have made this any easier. Really nice packaging, really simply laid out. I do have a couple extras in mind. We can talk about that later on towards the end of the video. If you stick around, we'll talk about the Wi-Fi booster if you need to extend your range. But you're going to be getting a base that you can go ahead and set off to the side. It's got a power cord. That one is actually for our Wi-Fi extender. And there is your dish right there. As you can see, ours has been used. And it moves around, travels with us very, very easily. Inside the rest of the box, you're going to find nicely laid out the, the cord, 75 feet or 150 feet, I believe, is the length on that. The actual modem router that comes with it, the power cord for that, and then we also have an Ethernet adapter that you could order separately down there. That is everything that's in the box. That is everything that you need to get your Starlink satellite internet up and running. Ashton, can you go ahead and set up the base yeah. on the ground? Keep right coming, here. keep coming, keep coming. We're gonna go like right here. Yep, <laughs> yep. plop and drop it. Guys, check this out. So it's got plenty of cord. There's a notch on here and there's a little groove inside there. I Sorry. Can push you down. And we're just gonna drop it right in until you hear a click. There yeah. it is click okay so here's the deal right we've got this dish set up now got our cable and uh me? we're gonna drag this guy to can the house you can hold on to that for me for right now and um for the purpose of this video guys i'm just gonna we're just gonna install this and get it set up and show you how it operates before uh before we actually secure any of our cabling and stuff like that not going to bore you with all those details. All right, guys. So here's the deal. We got this Starlink app on our phone here. That's kind of hard to see with the glare. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to scan the sky for a location. And uh, I'm going to walk around and do that. It's going to be hard to see. So, Brendan, you can just stay right there while I scan. Right? Okay. I want you to get 100% of the sky. Oh, don't that. Obviously, we're going to have a house over here to deal with. Yeah, and a tree over there. Flowers. But we're going to scan the whole thing. So it says 100%, and you just have to keep moving it around. There we go, 100%. So let's see here. Let me see if I can help you out. It says results. Try the results. Try to view the results. It's fun glare going on. All right, 97%. And it says this is a decent, I don't know if you can see that. No, you totally can't see that. It says this is a decent spot for your Starlink. It gives you the opportunity to shop for mounts or try a new location, which we're not going to try a new location. We know we're doing this. But I don't know if you guys can see this. Let's see here. Sorry, guys, for the glare. So you can see the sky. And it shows basically pointing north is where the satellites are. And that is my understanding of the United States users is pretty much going to be aiming for the northern sky. So let's get ready to do the install now that we know where we're putting it. So here's the deal guys, we got a power cable, we got a power outlet very close, power cord in the bottom, plugs go really simple, you can't mess this up, They're, they only fit one way, they're super easy directional, there's a notch in the back to keep them to lay flat, back right there, and plug this guy in here. There 
go. That's cool. All right, so we're watching the dish do its thing right now. It is sitting flat after moving around in a circle. The satellite's way up there, it means. It's looking for, it looked for a satellite and it's pointing at one right above us. Yeah. You just keep filming that. I'm going to go ahead and... Yep. But we can't see it because it's in space. Yeah. It's in and now we're going to go and try to connect we found a device uh, main router and looks like this is connected um, settings so we want to so that's the moment we've been waiting for. We finally got the online. It took a few minutes. You can see that the, the dish is sitting there. There's the Starlink sitting there. It has decided to aim itself to the north, a little bit to the northeast. Guys, I'm going to go in here and do a speed test, okay? All right, let's do this, guys. Let's get uh, some good lighting, but here we go. Speed test. Yeah. So close to 300 megabytes per second. Let's see. Finishes on it. 268 megabytes per second. Upload speed is 1415, somewhere in there. Pretty sweet. Low latency. That's what it's all about. All right, a little bonus add-on for you at the end of this installation video for the Starlink SpaceX satellite internet by Elon Musk. We have the wireless mesh network extender, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get this guy opened up here. And check this out. It should be a pretty easy installation process, as everything from Starlink seems to be relatively easy. So cool fancy little box there and uh, there it is looks just like the the router that comes with the uh, the kit there's only this that one plug on the bottom instructions are fairly simple right it just says plug it in and then we're gonna open up the Starlink app so we're gonna start with that Brendan great job on cameraman detail today Thanks. <laughs> all right he's gonna do a good job holding that camera steady and we're gonna get this guy plugged in we're setting it up in the corner of our living room and uh, as always you guys can feel free to do it wherever you need to but again fairly simple right there's only one plug on the bottom of that so once you connect the wireless mesh router to the power supply your app's going to pop up it's going to say there's a you know device that's trying to pair once you've paired your device you'll see you have the opportunity to rename it so we went in and renamed it something appropriate for our network, you can do the same. And then you'll see that it is connected. You can click on it and it'll actually show if there's devices connected to it or not. And what we noticed after just a couple minutes of walking around, some of the devices that had yellow dots and red dots, as you guys can kind of see on there, there's some yellow and red dots, they slowly start to come back over to this mesh router. So just naturally walking around throughout your house, uh, if you're on your phone, for instance, it's going to connect to whichever spot has the best signal, which is kind of cool. I, I just tried it out with our laptop as well, and it's doing the same thing. Thanks again so much for watching. And as promised, I would break all of this down into some easy steps for you, get you up and running on your Starlink satellite internet. I know you're so excited to do so. So six steps. Here it is. Step one, go online, order your Starlink internet if you haven't done so already, and download the app. Step two, scan the sky while you're waiting for that package to arrive. Go outside, figure out if you're gonna mount it on the roof, on the ground, on a pole, on your van, on your RV, wherever it's gonna be, and get ready to do that. Step three, when the box arrives, open the box. Make sure everything's all there and all good. Step 
Four, physically install and set up the device. This is going to vary depending on your location and your situation. And step five, when you've set up the device, you set up all the equipment, initialize with the app. It's really easy. Set up Starlink is a button that's inside the app there and let it initialize, do its thing. And outside of all the step-by-step -step processes that are in the app there, step six, enjoy the most versatile internet off the grid that you can possibly enjoy. There you have it, folks. Starlink Satellite Internet. It's as easy as that. If you found value in this video, as I said before, please give us a like, give us a subscribe. Make sure to share this video with anybody else you think may gain some value from it, and we will see you in the next one.